At last, you damn critters, get off my veranda! The seagulls seem to like the veranda just as much as the hotel owner does. Excuse me. Yes, please? Do you know that Angelina's been arrested? I... <laughs> can't tell you anything about that. But you do know. Look, Darren, this is a family hotel. I understand. Can I have a quick look around in Miss Morgan's room? Absolutely not. Even if I were to let something slip out to the press? I'm not going to be blackmailed. And anyway, the newspaper belongs to my brother-in-law. Hmm, nice for you. I saw the card and the flowers that you sent my mother. Oh, well, that was a given. As I hear it, isn't she any better? Seems there's not much kept private round here. Well, my wife is a friend of the doctor's wife. After all, one worries about people, doesn't he? Would you let me know then when my mother's condition starts to improve? Sorry? Was this guy here again yesterday? You mean the one who was asking about Miss Morgan? Yes, I saw him the one time through the window. He was headed towards town. Where was he coming from? I can't tell you exactly. Somewhere from around the beach, I'd say. Well, can you keep your eyes peeled? I believe he's caught up in all this. In the murder? For sure. He, he was following Angela... Uh, Miss Morgan, and now he's framed her for the murder. Well, what are things coming to? What kind of folks are running around in our lovely little Biddeford these days? What do you reckon? Who do you think murdered Fuller? Well, the cops already have a suspect. That's crazy. It wasn't her. I hope so, too. And I also hope they keep it quiet about where she was staying. And that's all you're worried about? Now listen here. My whole family's welfare depends on this hotel. You know what my daughter's tuition fees in Switzerland cost? There's an innocent girl sitting in jail. That interests me more than your daughter's college fees. Oh, forgive me, you're right. But if Miss Morgan is innocent, which is what we all assume, then the truth will soon come to light. Oh, I'll bring it to light, all right. Whatever it costs. Have the cops sealed off Miss Morgan's room? They were here first thing this morning. Got me out of bed, they did. I was worried that they'd pull the whole room apart. Took a whole lot of photos and fingerprints. <laughs> you know, like in a movie. But they didn't. The captain had a look around the room, made a few notes, and told me that nothing should be touched. But after ten minutes, he was off again, without, without taking anything with him. So are they coming back again? I, I don't know. I didn't get the feeling that the captain was looking for anything in particular. He just wanted to take a look around. So there could definitely still be clues hidden in the room. I need to be able to get a look around in there. And I'll be a lot more thorough than the captain. The weather isn't going to be suiting to your guests. Oh, yeah, well, there's not much going on anyway. The change in the weather was already announced. And to be honest, right now I'm quite happy there's not so many guests in the hotel. You know why. What with the... Uh, incident. You got a seagull problem here? <laughs> I wouldn't call it that. <laughs> they kind of... come with the coast. <laughs> it's just... it would be nice if they... Kept away. In my opinion, they ought to be out on the ocean, or on rocks on the coast, <laughs> but not on my veranda. And they've lost their fear of humans, and the hotel guests are always feeding them, especially with bits of fish. And then at some point the guests leave, and I'm left with a flock of seagulls on my veranda. They wreck the cushions, and oh well. They crap on your tables? 
Well, I wouldn't have put it like that myself, but yes. I'll press a little around here. Got it. The key for room number five. What's this then? I don't believe it. A, a microphone. A listening device. The bastards bugged Angelina. There's no cable on it. It must have a little transmitter, but such a tiny transmitter can't have much of a range. Hmm. That means there has to be an amplifier or, or a more powerful transmitter around here. She only drank non-alcoholic drinks in the diner yesterday. Angelina is about as good with alcohol as I am. Nice work. There were skilled craftsmen across the whole region all those years back. They brought all their experience and designs from Europe and supplied the whole of the states from here. This isn't exactly my taste, and I can't find anything to help me any further. A ventilation shaft could be a good hiding place for a radio set. I bet the hole leads right up to the roof. I knew it! A radio set. The bug only needs to transmit a few yards and then this powerful set amplifies the signal and sends it on to wherever. Where have you come from? What do you think you're doing? I, uh... You can't just march through the rooms! This is a discreet, familial hotel! Where, where is the key for room five? Miss Morgan's room, you've got it! I... Uh... Give it here, immediately! Don't let the police hear about this hotel! For heaven's sake! And now get out! I never want to see you here again! If you just... Don't! Man, was he upset or what? Doesn't matter. I've got everything I wanted and I don't need to go back into the hotel again. Um... 
What's with my slide projector? Don't worry, I've got it here. Is it broken? No, but old and battered as ever. What do you need the projector for anyway? You're blind. You just look after your own junk. Do you know this man? You want to play me for a sucker? Oh, uh, sorry. Have you heard what happened to Fuller? Sure. The police was here. Wanted to know if I heard anything. Did you? I got ears like a lynx, but it was raining. When the rain falls on that tin roof out my window, I can't hear nothing else. The police are looking for a man called Reginald Boris. He was hiding in a side street next to your shop. Did you notice anything? If I noticed a little punk like that, I'd have given him an earful. That, I can believe. The police have arrested an innocent woman. It happens. I'm gonna prove that she's innocent. Is she that pretty? She's damn pretty. <laughs> but, but that's not why I'm doing it. Whatever. You would have helped a 60-year-old wrinkly bitty in just the same way. But it don't matter in the end. The strong gotta help the weak. It's your duty to get her out of there. Will you help me? If I can. You're an expert on radio equipment, right? Can you tell me what this is? Who the hell? Darren. Can you help me or not? It's, it's important. Hmm. Well, that's a plain old transmitter. Cheap Asian trash. I found that thing in a ventilation shaft in a young woman's hotel room. What kind of range does this thing have? Eh, uh, not far. If it's used in a room, a, a couple of miles at best. And it's not possible to find out where the receiver is, right? <sighs> that doesn't help at all. Damn. I know all the hams in the area, and none of them would hide that kind of thing in a lady's room. But? But I intercepted some strange Morse code last night. Long wave, just after 1800 hours. Someone knew. He said something about a girl who is now safe. He also said he'd be back in touch today at 1800 hours. That could have been Reginald Boris. A foreigner? Uh, yes. And apart from that, perhaps Old Fuller's murderer. And someone who wants to frame an innocent party. And you want to stop that? Well, maybe there's a spark of decency in you yet. Can we track down Reginald if he transmits again at 1800 hours? Well, you bet. With directional antennas. I got one here. We'll have to build another one, and we'll get his bearings from two different points, and then bang! We got him! What do you need for it? Oh, well, let me think. I've got a radio here. We can use that. I need a metal tube, a copper wire, at least a meter, and you'll need headphones and a compass to get the bearings right. You bring me that stuff, and I'll build you the direction finder. And hurry! There ain't much time till 1800. Uh, 1800 hours. That's 6 p.m., right? Oh, my God. Huh. I won't be able to take the whole light chain, but perhaps I can cut out part of it. Alright then, there's no choice. I need the copper wire. I'll cut into the plastic insulation and pull it back carefully. And now, I have a real nice piece of copper wire. Oh, <laughs> 
That'll be just right for the directional transmitter. I'll just borrow it. All right then, I need the compass. I'll have to sacrifice the telescope. Here are all the things for the direction finder. Very good. I'll build it up right away. But, first the theory. You take the receiver down to the coast, somewhere near the hotel. You turn on the radio, I'll set everything up and don't fiddle with it. Then you turn the antenna slowly and listen for where the Morse code signal is the loudest. Look at the compass and write down the bearings and degrees where the antenna is pointing. Good. I'll do the same here with my receiver. Then we'll plot the bearings on this here map. Transmitter's located where the lines cross, understand? Yes, sir. Good. Now let me get on with it. So, let's see. Got it. Back to the junk shop. And? Do you have a bearing? Yes, sir. Bearing at 73 degrees. Very good. My bearing is 90 degrees. Go on. Plot the bearings. Let's see. Your shop is here, and you had a bearing of 90 degrees. I was roughly here. This damn... Of course! What is it? A boat! <sighs> Boris has got a boat. That's why no one here knows him, and why the police didn't find him. The lines cross a few hundred yards from the coast, about two miles to the east. Good work. Now you need a boat. One of those lobster fishermen owes me a favor. You can use his. Uh, and what should I do with it? We'll sail out there, of course. And serve myself up for a fight with Reginald Boris on his ship? Didn't you hear the message? He plans on coming back into town again tonight, looking for you. That's what he said? Huh. I must have missed that. Well, go on, then. You don't get many opportunities to be a hero. I trust the police least of all. I'd rather get hold of the evidence of Angelina's innocence myself. And this time, it'll all be watertight. Life jackets, a lifesaver, a few ropes, a buoy, and a gas can. Nothing of use at the moment. A wooden paddle that looks pretty heavy. Why would you need something like that on a sailboat? Let's see. Wow, this is a cool model. Huh. What have we here? A file titled Willow Creek. I don't believe it. Why the hell does Reginald Boris have pictures on his computer of a place where my mother regularly receives money? Something very strange is going on here. Cardboard folder. 
It looks really new. There's an A on the front. Huh. At the front of the fold, there's a small piece of transparent foil with lines on it. Strange. I'll take it with me. What else have we got here? Photos of Angelina. Some of them are clearly quite old. She can't be more than 13 or 14 years old in this one. Here she is as a kid. Huh. A note. New York, Boston, perhaps, perhaps that's her route? Yes, this proves that Boris has been following her for a while. I'll take the folder. There are various photos of Angelina in this file, and a few of Boris's drawings. They prove that he'd been following her for a while, but why? They're photos of me. They're all from yesterday, M me walking around town. This is me leaving the store, and here I am going to the hotel, and here, here I am with Angelina in the diner. Huh, that picture's been taken through the window. That Reginald fella must have been creeping about the whole time. Huh, I'll take them, even though they'll probably be of no use. The pictures of a big sailboat on a stormy sea. Maritime romanticism. There are hinges on one side of the frame. A safe. Hopefully it contains a few answers. Hmm. Here's a wind rose that you can turn. I guess the idea is the same as with Fuller's safe. But unfortunately, I don't have a stethoscope with me to listen to the mechanism. Nothing. A flip-up seat with a lock on it. The lock doesn't seem particularly strong, but it's still a problem. Nah, I'm not gonna get any further without the key. The lamp is screwed to the ceiling. If it was just lying around somewhere, it might fall over in rough seas. The cupboard looks like it's made of burl wood, but it can only be really a thin veneer, otherwise it'd be too heavy and expensive. All right, a few maritime maps, tools, screws, and measuring instrument, and, ah, a key. A frame sheet of handmade paper. You can hardly read the writing and there's some kind of wildly painted lines over it. The road to El Dorado is written at the bottom. Isn't that in South America? A frame sheet of handmade paper. You can hardly read the writing and there's some kind of wildly painted lines over it. The road to El Dorado is written at the bottom. Isn't that in South America? It might fit. Let's see.
The foil fits perfectly. It shows a route around the southern tip of Africa. The route is southwest, south, southeast, east, northeast, and northwest. That was the right combination. Huh. A ring with an eye-catching symbol on it. Looks a bit Celtic. A tree or something. It's not gonna help me, though. A floppy disk. Labeled with Biddeford and today's date. That looks more like a clue. I should have a look at what's on it straight away. If the disk doesn't contain any critical information, then I have to keep searching. Either way, I should get a move on. I don't know how long Boris is going to stay on land. There's nothing else in it. Damn, what's wrong now? The battery's dead. And there's no electricity on the boat. Alright. Let's see if I can do something about that. Aha, uh -huh. that must be the ship's power generator. I guess the batteries are normally charged using a cable at the harbor. The generator's probably just meant for emergencies. completely dry. I need to pour in some gas. Somewhere here was... Yes, a gas can. All right, ready for the next try. Very good, but also quite loud. Hopefully no one can hear the noise on land. Huh, let's see if there's anything on this disc that'll shed some light on what's going on. Mrs. Michaels medical records? What the? Mrs. Rebecca Michaels. Second and third degree burns on the hands, arms, and legs. Fractured back, partial cervical fracture, blah, blah, blah. Due to a bad fall. This entry is from 1973. R right after the car crash. Or rather an alleged car crash. What does Reginald Boris want with my mother's medical records? Does he... does he know her from her time in England? I'll... I'll deal with that later. Let's try and work at the Angelina thing first. Angelina... Angelina... Hey! Full of store. And there's someone standing in the shadows. It's... Mr. Biber. He must have found out about the blackmail and then lost it. And there's Angelina. She's going into the store. Oh! This is the proof. Fuller was already dead when Angelina arrived at the store. But Boris saw that Biba had murdered Fuller. Then he must have called Angelina and then the police afterwards. 
Why did he get her arrested? Was she in the way? In a search for my mother? Or me? Ha! Huh. Good evening, Mr. Michaels. You! Stay away from me! That's very difficult on such a small boat, wouldn't you say? What do you want from me? It's all very complicated, believe me. But we'll have enough time to clear it up. We're both going on a little trip. I don't think so. Ah! Damn it! It was really brave of you to take that guy on. Yeah. Well, I actually had no other choice. If you say so. Most important thing is the disc was still okay. You saved me. Hmm. I just wish they'd caught Boris. He'll resurface soon enough. I should have got back quicker, but the boat wouldn't go any faster. We still don't know what he actually wanted from us. And if you fly back to England on your own, who's gonna watch out for you then? Oh, it's nice of you to worry. But I've got to go back. And Boris seemed to be after you and your mother, right? Nothing's going to happen to me. I still wish you'd stay here. Or that I could come with you. We've been through this already. You have to stay here with your mother until she gets better. You can come and visit me in a few weeks. By then, I'll know more about the mysterious Willow Creek. What? What do you mean? I'm going to investigate. Willow Creek, Reginald Boris, about the time your mother was at the castle. Uh, listen to me. You are not going to do that. Please, keep out of this. But I'm a historian. Digging into the past is just what I do. Don't worry, Darren. I'm going to miss you. Anyway, I know who could save me if I get into trouble. Darren? Huh? They just called from the hospital. You should get over there, straight away. My mom! Mr. Michaels, it's, um, the doctor would like to speak to you. Has something happened? Just go through, please. Darren, I... Where's my mom? Your mom is... Your mom's heart failed this morning. What? No, 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 that's impossible. I really am very sorry. <sighs> mom! <gasps> Hello, this is Rebecca Michaels. Unfortunately, I'm not at home at the moment. Leave me a message, and I'll get back to you. Darren? Darren, are you there? He's here, Darren. Reginald Boris is here. I've... I went to Willow Creek. I couldn't resist. Please forgive me. I found out a few things about this place. It seems there's something like a conspiracy here, and I think Reginald Boris is part of it. I saw him today, and now... No. No. Go. Ah! Darren! Help me! Hello? Hello? Angelina!
Wakey, wakey. We're there. So, this is it. The one and only hotel in this godforsaken place. I had to change trains in London and then sit for another 45 minutes in a cab. And now here, I'm in the middle of nowhere. The village of Willow Creek itself is a bit further down the road. But I ought to take a look around here first. Angelina must have checked into this hotel 